Good evening. WA's North is dealing with flood havoc after a low dumped more than 400 millimetres of rain in a single day. The rain has already flooded parts of Broome, cut major roads and left dozens of people stranded and there's still more to come. The rain was so heavy and came so fast it swamped the normally dry country around Broome. Roads disappeared at Roebuck Plains. I think the white line's over here. Uh, oh, yep. yeah, a little bit further, a little bit further. Yeah, we're in our lane now. Yeah? Yep. 24 hours of rain delivered a record downpour, a staggering 439 millimetres at Broome. That's four times the January average for the Pearling town, all in a single day. By tomorrow, the Weather Bureau is predicting that Broome would have been drenched with around 700 millimetres of rain, more than they'd normally get in an entire year. The flooding has cut the Great Northern Highway, now closed from Sandfire to Halls Creek. It's left 16 adults and seven children stranded in vehicles near Roebuck, now just waiting until the water recedes. The 24-hour deluge saw Broome record its second wettest day in 21 years. It was even wetter in West Roebuck, where 449 millimetres fell in just 24 hours. Tonight, there are flood warnings in place for almost every river in the area. Heavy rainfall is not uncommon, but the rainfall that we saw overnight and early this morning in Broome was exceptional. But it's the wind that has been most destructive. 107 k's an hour recorded at Broome Port. Trees are down almost everywhere. Home and business owners have been left to pick up the pieces. The state emergency services answering 63 emergency calls for help. Bit of a fright at the time when it come down with a rather loud crash and bang. And, oh, the wind was really whistling. Come down about 2 o'clock this morning. But, uh, the wind was really whistling as loud as you'd hear from any of the cyclones we've had so far this year. And, uh, you could feel the floor vibrating underneath the house. The Kimberley had only just finished mopping up following cyclones Joyce and Hilda before the rain hit. The system isn't a cyclone, instead an intense low that is tracking south. A deep tropical low currently lies over the western Kimberley and that's produced extremely heavy rainfall over Broome and surrounding areas. Locals are to expect similar rain and wind at least until tomorrow afternoon. Sherry Lee Biggs, Nine News.